After reading this press release from Ford three times, no, in fact, I've read it four times now, I believe Ford is lying. In fact, I'm willing to go on the record and say that Ford has just created a Disney fairy tale and is hoping you'll believe it. This press release from Ford outlining their so-called incredibly advanced technology in some ways, which they claim is more advanced than any other technology that exists in the world in the automotive industry, is a complete bunch of nonsense. Literally, if you can sit through this video, you've just sat through a Disney production. Pixar, Disney, whatever. It's great for fantasy, but it has nothing to do with the real world, except that Ford claims it does. I don't know about you guys, but I find this kind of thing pretty comical. Uh, Ford making some promises that I don't think they can keep. Um, they say that in less than two years, they'll be bringing level three self-driving to the masses. When I say level three, they're saying, you'll pay a subscription fee or a one-off fee, like what Tesla has with full self-driving, and you'll get full self-driving from Ford. Now, I, I find this highly unlikely, um, particularly considering Jim Farley's comments in the past saying that full self-driving wasn't coming for at least five years. He's now changed his tune, it seems like. Jim Farley's doing a lot of backflipping lately, to be fair. I withdraw my comments about Jim Farley. Not today, but uh, in the past. I've been very positive and effusive of Jim, but I think he's I think he's losing the plot, to be honest. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. If you'd like to book a paid consultation, uh, you can do so, and I'll put a link in the description below. If you want advice on what electric car to buy, solar systems, all that kind of stuff, you can do that. What's going on here? Well, Ford says it has advanced driver assistance systems that um, are coming. People are going to pay for them. Ford's going to make tons of money from people. And these will help Ford achieve level three autonomy. There'll be LiDAR and a new in-house compute center. Yeah, interesting. <laughs> I'm, I'll try to keep a straight face here, guys. Ford has also launched, sorry, <laughs> an innovative AI assistant at the Consumer Electronics Show. Guys, I actually like Ford's. I lo like the Ford brand. But Ford and advanced software and advanced technology, it's like uh, hot water and, and ice. It doesn't work. Anyway, Ford has revealed what it, well, what it says will be a hands-off, eyes-off, level three driver assistance system in 2028. Installed in a vehicle underpinned by the firm's affordable universal electric vehicle platform that will launch in 2027. So they can have a very affordable universal electric vehicle platform launching in 2027. When they say universal, that is obviously a misnomer because it won't be sold anywhere except in North America, as if. Come on. Anyway, they also say that level three driver assistance system is enough for you to go to sleep, basically. Hands off, eyes off. That's not what level three is. I think Ford's confused. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know who's, who's putting these press releases together for them. That's level four, guys. Anyway, a driving assistance system, which how can you call it driving assistance when you're saying you can take your eyes off the road, take your hands off the steering wheel? That's not drive assistance. That's literally driving the car for you. It's been a long time coming for Ford, though, something like this. In 2016, Ford said that by 2021... <laughs> we criticize Tesla, but, you know... Come on, in 2016, Ford said that in 2021, it would have a level four autonomous vehicle in commercial operation, skipping level three altogether and jumping straight from level two to level four. However, Ford, like many other car manufacturers, underestimated the technological challenges of such advanced systems. But in 2016, they said they'd have level four by 2021. It's now 2026. So 10 years later, they don't even have a level two. 10 years later, they don't even have level two. Now, how seriously can you take Ford when they don't have any idea what they're talking about? Clearly. The car maker has revealed that it will use LiDAR to support its level three system. 
While it added that the technology will premiere in a vehicle underpinned by its new universal electric vehicle platform, which will start with a mid-sized electric pickup truck starting at $30,000. US dollars. Do you really think Ford's going to sell a mid-sized electric pickup truck for $30,000? US dollars? Why, why do we criticize Elon Musk and Tesla for making these promises when all these other freaking car companies say dumb shit? We say nothing. We just ignore it. I don't understand. I mean... Toyota has made more wild promises than Tesla, and we don't criticize them at all for it. It's strange. Anyway, speaking with Reuters, Ford's EV chief Doug Field noted the new driver assistance suite will not come standard at Ford's $30,000 price point, but it will be made available as an option. He added that Ford has yet to decide whether it will be available as a recurring subscription or as a once-off fee. According to Ford, autonomy shouldn't be a premium feature, and it will make its Level 3 system attainable thanks to software and hardware that's been developed in-house. It added that as it owns the technology behind the systems, it can deliver significantly more capability at a 30% lower cost than if we bought it from outside suppliers, helping make the system more scalable. That is so stupid. So Ford says, it's, this is a clearly a contradictory statement, completely contradictory. Guys, let's actually unpack what Ford have said here. They say they own the technology behind the systems. Therefore, they can deliver them at 30% less than if they bought that technology from outside suppliers. Number one, Ford can't buy level three tech from outside suppliers unless they get it from Tesla. Yeah, who are they going to get it from, right? Yeah, you can get it maybe from a mentor in China, but that's not going to happen in the US, is it? So Ford's only choice would be Tesla. Ford's saying it'll cost them 30% more to buy Tesla's, I don't know, hardware for, camera system, everything else from, from them, 30% more. But they're also saying that it's 30% more compared to what they already have. Okay, we own the technology behind the systems, ours is 30% cheaper. So why is it not in cars this year? If they already have it, they're saying they already have it, it's 30% cheaper, but it's not coming this year. It's not coming until 2028. So clearly they don't have it. So they, how can they know it's 30% cheaper if they don't actually own it? It doesn't make sense. They're just talking out their backsides. It's complete nonsense here. This entire press release from Ford is a total shambles. I don't think they thought through any of it. I'm really this, re very rarely this scathing. In 1% of my videos, am I this scathing? This is a complete joke from Ford. It's farce. It's a total farce. It's This entire press conference, all this information is simply designed for one thing, to boost their stock price and to get you to ignore the fact that Ford is a company that is truly in trouble. They are. Big time. Helping to make everything possible, according to Ford, is their new unified vehicle brain, a powerful module unifying the infotainment, ADAS, audio, and networking systems. Now, guys, Ford had more recalls in 2025 than like 10 car manufacturers combined. 10 combined. The more It had more recalls in 2025 than any car brand in history. And we're not talking about recalls where Ford can just go, oh, we'll do a software update, no problems. Or we can do an over-the-air software update, don't bring your car in. We're talking about major recalls. How well do you think it's going to go if Ford has their own in-house new, new unified vehicle brain with which is a powerful module unifying the infotainment, ADAS, audio, and networking systems? What do you think the chances are these cars are not going to be buggy as hell? This new compute center gives Ford five times more control over semiconductors handles complex computing tasks faster than ever before, is nearly half the size of old computers. Which old computers? What are they talking about? Like the Commodore 64 or something like that? And is significantly cheaper to produce. So, yeah. Anyway, let's have a look at what Ford said. They said, in addition to making these announcements at CES, they also revealed their AI assistant. It will soon be added to the Ford and Lincoln apps. It's not just a generic alternative to ChatGPT, or Gemini. Instead, it's tailored specifically to Ford vehicles. Snap a photo of bags of firewood and it'll tell you how many of them will fit in the bed of your F-150. So Ford's saying it has extremely advanced um, image detection software, which can actually understand images. And it's saying that it has nothing to do with Gemini or ChatGPT or Microsoft. That's bullshit. That's a flat out lie. There is no way Ford has a technology that can actually do what they're saying it can do. It can assess images in the way they're saying, and it's Ford's own software created by Ford. That's If Ford had all this stuff they're saying, they had their stock should have gone up by triple. 
overnight. It doesn't. Next year, though, the AI assistant will be added directly to the onboard screens of Ford and Lincoln models. So all this stuff Ford's doing in-house. Somehow, their R&D spend hasn't increased. Uh, they're the most inefficient company when it comes to making EVs. They lose massive amounts of money on every car they sell, every EV they sell. But somehow, all of a sudden, they are a tech company and a legitimate rival to Tesla. Um, and some of the stuff they're saying is better than Tesla. Does Tesla have an AI brain system that they made themselves? They've got Grok integration, but that's Grok. It's not Tesla. Uh, Tesla doesn't have their own version of ChatGPT or their own version of Google can actually do advanced image, image assessments and work out what's in an image and exactly what's in that image and work out then how, how much of that image can, is relevant to the vehicle itself, how much can fit in the size of the vehicle. That's quite complex. In, in fact, that's extremely complex. Guys, I don't believe any single word of this press release because it's like it's just the whole thing stinks. And I'm going to say, go out and say shame on Ford for doing this because I just think they're totally making this all, making all of this up and they're just hoping that they won't get called out. They, Yeah, I might be the only person on the internet that's ever going to call them out for this until it all falls in a heap and none of this is delivered in 2028 because it won't be. Thanks for watching. Guys, if you want to install solar panels, a home battery or a home charger, the best way to do this for your situation is to go to the links in the description below and they'll take you to a page where you can compare everyone. So depending on where you, it doesn't matter where you live, a lot of people email me all the time saying, well, what solar system should I get? Who should I go with? What battery should I get? What electric charger should I get? Well, click in the links in the description and you can actually compare all the different choices and find the best deal for you. I'll put that link in the description below. Additionally, there is a battery savings calculator link and also a federal battery rebate calculator. I personally have found that I'm not paying for electricity at all, and that's including charging my two electric cars and also running my home power, my home sauna, um, nothing not paying anything at all. And I think a lot of people are getting misled. They think that getting a battery is not worth it. Actually, I think it is worth it. So those links are in the description below.